Up until the Kerry match, Donegal really only tested by teams inside of Ulster, and, and I wasn't sure, um, you know, when, when they come up against another team outside of the province, how, do, how, how they would react to it. But certainly, um, they reacted in the best possible manner, and they scored 112, a low enough scoring game, but they still looked um, very comfortable throughout this game. And it'll be the springboard, of course, for this uh, Donegal team, you know. Any time you beat Kerry, regardless of what type of team they've out, it's going to give you a huge amount of confidence and I'm sure Donegal will, will gain confidence because of that. I was very impressed with Cork's win over Kildare the last day. Um, to put up such a big score against a team like Kildare it, it can only be good for any team and the way they've done it, they've done it in, in complete style as well. They played a nice a brand of football um, and when the opportunities were there they really punished Kildare on the day. I've gone against Donegal in every game so far and they keep proving me wrong um, and as an Ulster man I'd love to see Donegal win so I am going to go Cork on this occasion. Um, I do think Cork are the strongest team overall, they've got the strongest panel and as I said earlier on they've got the likes of Paddy Kelly who, who at the minute is struggling to get his place in the team and, and I've played with Paddy, I've been fortunate enough to play with him last year in Australia and he's a top class inter county player. And when, when players of that calibre are struggling to get their, their place in the team, it shows the strength that this Cork team have.